I definitely think one of the themes is technology, sort of the limits of technology, what man can and can't do, and perhaps what he should and shouldn't do. There's definitely a sense of flying too close to the sun uh, with Icarus as far as how they use technology, because they're using technology that they don't necessarily quite understand. And then they're putting it in people who they're not sure how exactly the people's bodies will interface with that technology. So that's definitely a big um, theme running through the story. Another big theme that I was really interested in is sort of the, not that this is a, like a, a revolutionary theme or anything, but the idea of the government, uh, what they know versus what they'll tell, A, the people who are fighting for them, and B, the general public. Um, a lot of my sort of ideas about uh, military action have been formed. Uh, I was 18 when 9-11 happened. I was, whatever, 20 when we invaded Iraq. So really for most of the time that I've been thinking about politics and world events with any sort of depth, uh, we've been embroiled in these wars of questionable origin. So I definitely thought a lot about that in, uh, when t thinking about characters like Moyer, Coughlin, and when thinking about how what they know is being relayed to Matt and Greg, who are essentially the drones in the field, who they don't have all the information. They are maybe even doing things for reasons that they aren't clear on simply because they've been ordered to. So those two themes are, I feel, very prominent in Red Spike. Um, as the series goes on, you'll see both how the technology of Red Spike, the good of it and the bad of it, and you'll also see sort of how deceptive a lot of uh, people in places of power are about uh, the soldiers and about their true intents. Yeah, it's very cool uh, to see your, your any, any work of yours brought to life, but in a comic form especially because you write it and you write this script out and I, uh, you know, you have some idea of how it's going to be, but then you get it to the artist, and then they do their thing with it. Uh, and, you know, Mark and Salvador are really good at what they do. And so it was really cool to see their interpretation of sort of the words and the images that I had laid out. Um, and it's really gratifying when you get that first colored, you know, inked uh, PDF or whatever back and you get to look at it and sort of see the whole story, you know, in all of its glory. Uh, that, that's a really cool moment. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's interesting to see them do stuff that maybe you didn't think of um, as a writer to put into the image or sort of a certain angle or certain um, artifice that they added to the image that you might not have, it might not have even occurred to you, but as an artist, you know, since that is their job, they think of some of those things that you might not. Um, so it's really interesting just to see their interpretation as well and sort of where the, the whole collaboration has come about. As far as my working relationship with both uh, of the guys, I try to be very detailed in my script that I give them uh, as far as the images. But I actually haven't spoken or even exchanged an email with either of them over the course of, of the project. A lot of that has been done through our editor, a lot of the, uh, the communication and the, the revising of images. But um, th you know, that's something that as a writer, you, uh, in, in going forward, you, know, you want to put in even more detail in every uh, comic script, because it makes their job easier. And if you have any visual themes that you want to sort of have uh, on a continuum throughout the work, you need to really express that to the, uh, to the artist so that they can be aware of that as well. Uh, I'm hoping that when fans pick up Red Spike, they get the same uh, sort of thrill or rush from it as you would from a summer action movie because it's a really condensed, fast, action-driven read. There's a lot of uh, you know, interesting characters and interesting scenes and great action sequences in it. So it's just a really fun ride. Uh, you know, it's perfect summer blockbuster popcorn fare only in comic book form.